Through this vulnerability, your, growth, your grief will slowly transform into growth. Once you've forgiven yourself and found yourself your most vulnerable state, that's when you'll find yourself most courageous. Courageous enough to take another step forward, to pivot, and to grow. Grief is painful and unwanted, but it is also inevitable. And the best way to move forward is to dig deep, find the courage within, and use it to fuel positive growth in your life. So I have a little exercise for you guys. Uh, Megan has passed out little sh uh, sheets of paper that are on your table. So I'd like to challenge you all to spend a minute writing down a moment of immense pain in your life. Then later tonight or sometime this week, spend time answering the following questions. What have you learned? Have you forgiven yourself? How have you changed? What new relationship or circumstances have grown from your loss and subsequent grief? This reflection, while difficult, might help you realize how much you've changed and how much you've grown. So if you guys just want to take a few minutes and think about it, otherwise feel free to do so and reflect on your own time. Like growth, grief doesn't have a final destination. You will never be done growing just as you'll never be done healing. But day by day, you'll continue to grow and life will take on new meaning. But I always tell myself, if it ever feels just a little bit too hard and I slide back a step, just keep putting one foot in front of the other and when all else fails, do it for Chris.